Good evening everybody, welcome back to this next video on the Eagle's Nest Desert Wind server. I'm your host, Eagle Firefly, and thank you for watching. Okay, good evening everybody. So the configuration for tonight is quite straightforward really. We are going to be running two AGM 154s. I'll just open up the window. So we're going to set two AGM 154Cs and then we're going to load out with M9Xs on the wings because we need some defensive capability and M120Cs on pylons 8 and 2. We're going to run the app FLIR module so that we can see any bad guys down there and then we're going to run it like that. Okay, so for those of you uh, that haven't used the AGM120, the JSO as they're called, uh, we're going to run a quick run through of how we're going to do this and then we're going to get out of here. So uh, I'm not a real pilot or anything like that, just what I've learned from tutorials and things picked up. But I find the way I do things is fairly simple enough for me. So I hope it's simple enough for you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just going to clear that. Uh, I do have uh, these screens here that you can see on the bottom so that's a new modification that I've done I can do another video if that's requested later on so as opposed to my routine uh, basically we get the map off because we don't really need it and turn our dispensers on and our EWR so I move left to right so electronic warning on the HUD while we're on the ground we're gonna go menu stores and we're going to warm our JSOs up, and then we're going to get those timing. Leave those for a second. Situational awareness radar. Just there, so we know there's a hawk just over there. And then we're going to warm the flare up. Actually, it should be on standby until it's warmed up while we're on the ground. So we know that our INS and everything were all aligned. So we're almost good. So we are going to tune into our Overlord bot, which is on 134, and we're just going to check in. Overlord Eagle 11 one radio check. Eagle 11, one, one, Overlord 555. That's good, so she's seeing us on scope, so we're going to set our warning radius to 40 miles. Overlord Eagle 11, one, set tripwire to 40 miles. So that basically means that we're going to get a warning within 40 miles of any bad baddies that are going to come and get us. Okay, so if we just go to the F10 map, we're going to head for... Uh, basically, the idea of the mission is to capture the air bases all the way up to Kasab and then do an assault across to capture Kesham Island. So at the moment, it is dynamic, so everything does persist. Uh, we've got CTLD... And we also have base capture. So each mission is unique. Overlord Phoenix 13, set ran warning radius to 60 nautical miles. So our mission each time is unique. I'm just going to turn Phoenix the volume down. Overlord. There we go. Let's turn the volume down for now. Um, okay, so each mission is unique. So we have, when you start the mission, basically we have a front line here, which has smoke. And then we move up to the Al Minhad from the FARP. So as you can see by the arrows, we go for the frontline attack and then attack Al Minhad. And then we move up the chain. Various enemies will spawn. As you can see, we've got some things on scope. So it's very uh, PVE. Well, it is fully PVE. Uh, but the difficulty does increase as you move up the, up the scale towards Kasab. So... All of these un ground units you see built here, these are all player built. There's nothing predefined. So that's how we get the dynamic persistent world all the time. So basically you can attack this at any, w any way you want with your friends, with your pilots, with your squadron. You can decide strategically where to place units. The AI does build it, have built into it predefined uh, basically launch points from all of these places. So you can bomb runways, you can block runways, you can put air defences up. The AI will then calculate the best place to launch an attack from air to air. And also there's 
air, random air to ground. Some of the AI is still under development, so bear with us. Uh, if you want to come and join us, it's the Eagle's Nest Desert Wind, uh, as you can see in the titles. Uh, this Discord is quite handy because uh, it, you can basically track your stats uh, with credits to uh, Special K, who gave us a bot for that, which is very handy, uh, which gives us a visual sort of trail of where we're going to go, uh, where we go with things and where we score. So, yeah, so we are getting a good... Uh, persistent crowd now uh very proud of everybody very, very thankful i would just like to say thank you to uh, my recent patreons so uh, we now have three uh which is awesome i wasn't expecting to get any so all funds go to help with the server and also to buy me alcohol to keep me sane sometimes I'm not a heavy drinker so don't worry about that okay so we're just going to taxi out so we are at al minhad so we're going to do uh, and going to do uh, an intersection departure. I think we can go straight across. We can go straight across. We're going to look right, look left. Okay, so just some pre-takeoff checks before we cross the line. So we've got the JSOs warmed up. Um, now what I do here, so I put them into target of opportunity mode. Set the fuses to instantaneous. Uh, that's one rack. Then we're going to do the other rack. E fuse instantaneous. Okay, so on this side, we know that they're warming up, so we're going to get the situational awareness radar. I'm going to pop these on for you so you can see what's going on. Uh, with my eyes dancing around, and if we get engaged, it might be a quick tri bit tricky to see. Okay, so we're going to depart now. Uh, there's a missile there. I've just got labels on so that you can see a little bit better as well. So that's the Hawk firing. Uh, I generally don't use labels when I'm flying. Uh, the server stability is quite good. We've got quite a heavy server at the minute. There's about seven people online. And we get around about 45 FPS in heavy areas. Uh, which is Which is quite good. Uh, we are working on efficiency all the time. So obviously we've just got Hawks and a missile launch there. So we're going to rotate. One, gear up. Okay, so we're just going to head brake left slightly. Not quite sure what's going on. We're going to turn the Overlord bot on now. Zero, eight, two, 11, 2000, we're gonna get this flare on there. So we're basically going to run to the opposite side of the coastline. Do a quick break right. I've actually got, probably shouldn't have, I've got Manchester United on, on uh, ITV in the background. <laughs> so I was just watching that because we've just gone to extra time. So very naughty of me, very, uh, very not realistic at all. Okay, so as you can see there, we've got, we've got, if I can see with my head tracker, two JSOs and two. Brett, Bra, 036, 40, 500, drag north, frog foot. So we've got a frog foot around about there, which we've not got visual tally yet. It's fine. So we're just going to head towards the mountain range here. See if we can get something. And there's an SA-15 there, so we're just going to... You may be best, I'm going to just be looking with my right eye down here. Um, you might be best just looking at the screens at the below, so you can see what's going on. So basically, we're going to set that to soy. Is it soy? Did it go soy? That to soy now. Now bring that down. And then if we look at our situational awareness page, we're going to use the diamond, and we're going to put diamond somewhere where the SA-15 is. is going to be about there. Not playing nice. Phoenix 
Drop that there. So the SA-15 is about there somewhere. We're going to go to infrared. Oh, see something just there. Don't know whether it's a unit or not. Nope. So we've got we've got a lock on that now. So we're just going to come up slightly. Not too sure whether this is friendly. Just gonna break a little bit as around. Overlord Peaks, one three, request Bobby Dope. Phoenix one three, Overlord. Rock so we do actually have one some one cap out there. Nine thousand, flank southwest, Frogfoot. Overlord Eagle 1-1, one, one, bogey dope. Eagle 1-1, one, one, Overlord, bra, 334, 20, 15,000, beam southwest, Frogfoot. Ain't anything just yet. Something here somewhere. So the Eagle one one threat bra one zero six nineteen five hundred hot tomcat one zero six. So we're gonna go air to air now. Uh, master arm is on zero one six. Let's have a look. Nothing on scope just yet. Phoenix 1-3, merge, 291, 16,000, frog So we know that the enemies are down there somewhere, but we can't quite see, so we're going to come back in a minute. Overlord Eagle 1-1, one, one, bug it out. Digger 1-1, one, one, Overlord, I could not find you on scope. Overlord Eagle 1-1, one, one, bogey dope. Where? No tally on the F-14, I'll tally on the F-14. Fox 3. Well, we're gonna die. Phoenix one one, Overlord. I could not catch the distance. Phoenix one one, set one in radius to forty miles. Overlord, Phoenix one one, set one in radius to forty miles. Phoenix one one, Overlord. Copy. Warning 40 nautical miles. Okay, so we splash that MIG now. Uh, buddy check. Yeah, that's me.
Okay, so we're okay for the minute. So we're going to go back to air to ground mode now. So it can get. So it can get quite intense in here at sometimes. So I think I've wandered into the sandnet. Yeah, I've wandered into the sandnet. So we got hawk launch now. So we should be able to come round now, hopefully, if we don't get bugged again. Okay, so the SA-15 is round here somewhere. Uh, why? That's why. So SA-15 launched, so we might get a visual on where it is. Uh, nope. So the SA-15 might just be underneath, behind these, here. Yeah. Yo, Eagle, you want me to be, like, your jammer crafting there? I'm at Angels 13, and can you see what Dutch does not? Yes, please. I'm trying to get this SA-15. Copy, I'm on my way. Ah. No, we're probably going to die this time. Copy that. I have tally on the launchers, but I can't get close. Shack now. Yeah. Use the mountains as chaff. It's okay. Whoa. Come on. Okay. So we can recommit now. I'm going to use these mountains as a little bit of cover. So as long as I can get the flare on. Phoenix one three merged two seven seven yeah. ten thousand okay. fish bed. Okay. Okay, we go again. I know where they are though. Low fuel. Oh, a bit close. Copy. Emerson. Phoenix one three. Threat. Bra. Three one eight. Three. Three thousand. Flank south. Fish bed. Okay, hopefully. Eagle one one. Threat. Bra. Two five nine. Nineteen. No. Three thousand. Too heavy. South, no, I'm done bed. this time. Phoenix one one. Taking no wrong way. One three. So, soy. Soy now. Right, okay, that was the problem before, so we weren't soy. Let's come back round. Try and get the SA 15 to spike you. Copy, give me a sec. 
I'm gonna go down. <laughs> that missile went straight over my nose. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I think he's spiking you now because I'm not getting a spike. But I have him on camera now, so I should be able to take it. He's relocking me. There's a fish ped 305 off me if you can try and see him. Copy, engage the offensive, one second. Copy. Okay, never mind, I made it. One, three, threat, bra, three, two, six, sixteen, five hundred, drag north, fish bed. I got one JSO away, but I don't think it's going to hit. What again? No jack. Ah! Tried. Okay, so we decided that the JSOs weren't going to work. It was worth a shot, but there's too much radar stuff going on. So we're going to go with the harms on this flight. So standing configuration is the... Let's make sure we have got everything up. Uh, my standard configuration for this is uh, situational awareness on the right. And then we go to stores arm display on the left self protect mode now you'll see there's two ways that you can use this so with the harms you can do target of self protect mode target of opportunity or pre brief mode sometimes i use the pre brief mode sometimes i use it this way uh, this isn't always the best way to use it but this is the way i like to use it so what we're going to do is we're going to go for that sa15 site because it's causing us a little bit of drama and then we're going to go for the hawk side if we can get a spike so we're going to go uh, high altitude and we're going to attack this from west to east uh, the reason being is is that if we go east to west we're gonna hit the hawk site first okay so we're basically just gonna arm it baby phoenix one one threat Okay, so this should be a little less frantic than using the JSOs. Now, before, basically what we're trying to achieve is there is a, a battle group in the town just here with a command center. Now, we could uh, basically start going for it, but the problem is, is that when we go to attack from the west we get caught up caught up by the hawk and the sa15 now we can go from the e from 
the western side coast. But the problem is, is that the enemy air-to-air -air scrambles and then we just get mithered. So this way we can try and evade that. Now I haven't got my radio on, so I don't know whether we're going to be getting any. Overlord Eagle 1-1 one, one, bogey dope. So we're okay. So we want this SA-15 to lock us. Now, had I probably been high enough here with the JSOs, I probably could have done this, but for some reason I didn't. So, I basically say you could go target of opportunity here and see if the radar picks you up. But we know the SA-15 radar isn't picking us up. So what we're going to do, we're going to go self-protect mode. Now, when this flips to... SA-15, then we're going to switch to self-protect mode, if it will uh, allow us. So we're just going to wait. Now obviously if you were on the pad, you had a pad, and you were actually in the aircraft, you could cycle these, but you would probably have uh, SA-15 pre-briefed pre anyway, and you would have the relevant coordinates. So this isn't the most efficient way to do it, but it works for me. Phoenix 1-1, merge 202, 7,000 slugger. So we're not getting Phoenix anything one, off of 15. Okay, so hot, we're picking it up now. At. So we can actually hand Eagle over one, here. One, threat, bra, one, two, three, 14, 500, hot, Tomcat. Why can't I hand off? Wouldn't let me hand off. Oh, I don't know why. Okay, should go back for another run. I didn't think it would actually pick it up, but it did. But I couldn't hand off. So we'll just go back in a moment. Just there. It's quite strange that we're not getting a spike. They must be relaunch reloading or be out of ammo. So we're just going to cut back now. See the SA-15 in a moment. Somewhere. the SA-15. Let's try and attack it from the north. We'll go for the Hawk. By the way, Eagle, maybe, and only maybe, your cookie is down. How's that? All right, that's better. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> okay, what we got going on now? Ah, that's okay. So we're going to go self protect mode now. We're going to spin round. Not an ideal situation, but it's an okay situation. Ah, there it goes. That's the ship. We don't want the ship. See? It, this is the problem now. I'm not actually sure where the hawk is.
There we go. So we got a good hit on one. Not sure what else. Phoenix one one. Threat bra three five one twenty five hundred. Drag north fish bed. So there's a, the SA fifteen. Uh, Phoenix one one. Threat bra three zero six twenty four five hundred. Drag north fish bed. I want the SA fifteen. Okay, let's go. Phoenix one one. No. Oh no, Phoenix one one. Go go Come out a little bit. So please come and join us because this is hella fun. We have so much fun in here all the time. And with it being so dynamic, things can change. Uh, flip, flip the switch. What's going on? Where? Oops. Much. So hopefully we should be able to pick up the SA-15 now, because we're high enough. Phoenix 1-1, merge, 3-5-1, fish bed. Yes. Nothing yet. It's in this town here, but it seems to be switching its radar off. Is that showing the 15 now? There we go. Okay, so we have a rifle. And again. Oh, rifle two. I'm going to third missile. And they're all away. E Overlord Eagle 1 1 boogie dope. Boom. Flanker. Flanker. Uh, the SA-15 should be down now. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if it's been informative to you and it's helped you out, then that's awesome. Please come and join us on the server. It would be great to have you. Uh, we have loads of fun here and you know we're a great bunch of people so if you want to see any if you so if you want to see anything anything different anything new or you want some different guides and stuff like that i'm quite happy to do them uh, we will do some regular content with regards to the with regards to the server and how you can do certain things we've got loads of cool content coming and that will be about very very soon so I shall see you soon. Thank you for watching and I've been your host Eagle Firefly. See you in a bit.